Hey guys, so in this video here, we're going to be looking at the converse of theorem 1, right? So I'm just going to write theorem 1, theorem 1, but the converse, right? Let me say it's the opposite, right? Just to put it in simple English, the opposite of theorem 1. Remember that theorem 1, Theorem 1, we were given all the points of a triangle, right, which was like this. I'm just going to write it as small as possible. And then um, we're required to prove that, let's say this is A, this is B, this is C, this is D, this is E. We're required to prove that AD over DB is equal to AE over EC. That was Theorem 1, right? So now, what we are given in, in theorem 1 converse, so we are given the following, we are given that um, the AD over DB, this from theorem 1, is equal to AE over AC. So we are given that, right? And we are required to prove, so we are required to prove that um, DE, is parallel to BC, right? So required to prove that DE is parallel to BC. So let me draw a diagram so that we can see what we are talking about. Let me remove this. So we are having our diagram, right? Uh, that looks more like this. And we are given the point, this is A, this is B, this is C, this is D, this is E, right? So I required to prove that this line here is parallel to this line here. And this is the Roman converse, by the way. If you take a look at the bottom of your screen, you'll see the reason that we normally use for this theorem, which is line divides sides of triangle proportional, right? Um, but the long one is if a line divides two sides of a triangle proportionally, then the line is parallel to the third side, right? That's just the long reason. But the short one, as I said, is line divides sides of triangle proportion. So that is the reason of this theorem. Just continue looking at the bottom of your screen. I won't remove it. Anyways, uh, just to continue from this. So required to prove that these lines are parallel, right? As I said, we're required to prove that these lines are parallel here. So for us to prove that, we, we are going to do more or less of theorem 1, right? The previous one, where... Uh, we're proving that uh, these lines, uh, this side, this side here, is proportional to the other side, right? Uh, the ratios are equal, right? So that's what we're going to do first, right now. So the first thing we'll do is we'll be like, okay, fine. Let's construct the lines. Let's construct line BE and it goes all the way there, and then it's 90 degrees here, and let's say this is K, right? And then let's do the same here. Let's construct a line here and it goes there and it's 90 degrees. And let's say this is H, right? And then from here, what we're going to do is we're going to say um, area of triangle ADE is equal to 1 over 2 times. So we're looking from this side, right? By the way, we're just going to look from this side. Uh, let me remove these. So we are looking from this side, right? So by looking from this side, let's focus on the blue line, right? Uh, so it's going to be half times our base is going to be AD, right? Because we're looking at ADE. And then our height is going to be K, right? And then we divide that with the bottom. So now we're looking here. Uh, so it's triangle. So it's area of triangle DEB is equal to 1 over 2 times um, the base, which is DB, times the height, which is K, right? So this will go away. Uh, let me remove it. This will go away. This will always go, always go away. And then we'll remain with AD over DB, right? So this is what we're going to have. And then... Let's do the same, but on this side now, right? Uh, let me remove this. So now we know that we have AD over DB, right? Please remember that. 
we have AD over DB, so which is what we got AD over DB. Let me write it here. So now we're going to write the area of triangle ADE all over the area of triangle DEB, DEC. Sorry. So remember, we're looking from this side, and we're going to focus on the red line now. So meaning the area from the top is half times the base, which is AE, times the height, which is H, over 1 over 2 times the base, which is EC, times the height of H. So this will go away, this will go, this will go away, will remain with AE over EC. Right. So now we have this, which is this one here. We have this, which is this one here. So now, from this step, we're going to continue saying, oops. So we're going to continue saying, let me just erase this quickly. So now we've proven the left and the right uh, side areas or ratios, by the way. So we're going to say AD over db which is what we got initially is equals to ae over ec after you have done the previous uh, step right so the reason here you're going to say given because obviously you were given that right we were told uh, here that these ratios are equal right remember we are trying to prove that um these are parallel this is parallel to that right that line so now what you're going to do is this we're going to say excuse me we're going, we're going to say area so the area of triangle ade all over the area of triangle deb is equals to the area of triangle ADE over the area of triangle DEC, right? So once you have done this, it tells you that now that obviously this area is going to be equal to this one. This area is going to be equal to this one. So you can just uh, say, therefore, area of triangle DEB is equal to the area of triangle DEC, right? So once you have proven that the areas are equal, the areas of this, I'm just going to show you what I'm talking about. Yeah, the area of DEB, DEB is this one here. The, this area of DEB is this is equal to this area here of DEC. This one here. So they are equal. So now we know that they are equal, right? And if you remember clearly, in, in, in your textbook, you can check, there's a definition that says that if you have parallel lines, so this definition says this, um, let me just remove this before I state that definition. It says that if you have parallel lines, if this is parallel to this, right, and you have triangles between these parallel lines, right they share the same base then these triangles which this one and this one will have the same area so now in this case we've already proven the areas that they are equal right we've already proven that the areas are equal that the area of triangle d b e is equal to the area of triangle um e DC, right? You've proven that. So once you have proven that these areas are actually equal, which means these triangles share the same base, you can say they share same base, right? You can say share, share same base. Therefore, it concludes now that actually DE is parallel to BC. Maybe the reason is you can also state that maybe this reason of sharing the same base, you can write it here if you want, or you can say um, triangle D, B, E, and triangle E, D, C, uh, share or have equal area, equal area, right? You can state that. 
now we have done the job we have proven that de is parallel to bc so this is just the converse um, if you have any questions or comments please let me know in the comment section below um, if you didn't check the first theorem check the description of this video um, it is there if you want to know uh, all the theorems all seven theorems that you did in grade 11 all of them are in this video in the description um, just check that otherwise thank you so much for watching um, see you on the next video thank you so much for watching if you have any questions suggestions or comments please write them down in the comment section below otherwise please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click that bell button